Repairing equipment when it breaks is an essential skill for any hobbyist or maker. Today we'll take a look and repair this power supply I've got. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you've been a long time subscriber, you might remember this power supply. We repaired it a couple years ago. I have another problem with it. Just the other night, I went to use it and the power supply output lead post, the binding post, broke right off. I haven't taken a look inside to see what we're up against yet, but should be should be repairable. I love this power supply, despite a little bit of repair now and again. Eh, that happens with equipment. First up, we'll go ahead and get in here and see what we're up against. I think this should be a pretty easy fix, but you never know what you're up against sometimes. It's been a, a really good power supply, all things considered. I was quite impressed with it. We had a uh, bad solder joint on the display well, way, way, way back when, and that was an easy fix. and uh, Kind of the price of admission with these these cheap uh, offshore equipment but uh, yeah, should be we should be able to fix this up I see no reason why not I'm not sure how I'll edit this video I think I'll do this one kind of like a little bit more raw and leave it roll I don't know we'll see let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like the long format repair vids or do you like them edited right down so they're nice and short? You let me know. Alright, let's see what we're up against. We have, there's our uh, binding post with a cap on it. Not much to this, we should be able to fix this up. What I went ahead and got is I got some uh, binding posts on Amazon, uh, you just search, just your search term would be binding post, and then you can also search banana jack and get to these as well. I think it should work. Let's go ahead and see what we're up against here. Yeah, it's soldered to the, everything's soldered to the tab, which I think, I know this is ugly, but I don't have my small wrenches handy here. Um, I had a breakdown at Christmas time. I had to repair, a had to do some vehicle work. So, some of my tools are in my remote tool bag. There we go. What are we up against here? Some glue. Some glue. Let me just pop this apart and resolder it. If that's the same as what we were doing with before. Sure is. There, that's right tight against the front plate. Now, we should be able, any luck, to just reuse this as sits. No problem. Put our lock nut on. And we're away. I'm tempted to change out the other two as well while we're in here. I don't know. Let's just have a look in a minute and see see what we're up against there. Come on, Snappy. You can do it. There. Let's make sure that I don't rotate. Make sure that cap is not up against anything. It's not. That looks fantastic. That is perfect. That should do the trick. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the other one as well. I'll do the negative one because what the heck. We're in here anyway. Those are the ones that get the use. I think. Let's go ahead and pop this off. Should have done this sooner. Perfect. 
should have done that for the first one, but whatever. That's what happens when you just kind of take the lazy road and drive them right in there. There we go. Let's go ahead and change this negative one out first as well. I don't see any need to leave that in there. It's probably just going to end up breaking like the positive one. So it's not always so fun to have to do repairs on your equipment, but it is necessary. It sucks when it happens when you need the equipment, but it's kind of fun to repair stuff now and again. It's a, I don't know, it's kind of good for the soul in a way. Most of the time I would rather that stuff just worked, but I can't always have that. There's some glue on this, so it's a little sticky. And I'll stick that through. It could do with a washer, but it's not too bad. I'm not gonna bother. There's there's no no, no load on like it shouldn't come loose and yeah it's perfect. Don't need to spread any load out across it, so just the nut will be just fine. It'll be good enough in this case. I'll just snug it up against the panel a little bit. That'll be that. Perfect. Get our lead. I took a quick look at the solder joints too. <laughs> they're they're ugly as sin, but they'll definitely they're fine. They're not worth touching up right now. And I oh crap. I wouldn't touch them up until uh I had this kind of fastened in place anyway, probably. It's probably easier to touch them up in situ. There we go. That will do the trick. That is all there will be to it. Line this up. Perfect. Just like new. Like a champ. And we've tricked it out with some cool gold. That's gonna look sharp. Let's go ahead and put it back together here. Don't be scared to get into your equipment, guys. Always, uh, with 110 volt stuff like this, make darn sure that it's, uh, it's, it's disconnected from power but don't be scared to get in there. You're not going to make it any worse. The thing was completely defective anyway. So what have you got to lose if you think about it that way? As long as you don't hurt yourself, no problem. Just get in there and fix, see if you can fix it up. In this case, this is an easy fix. If you look at the other video on this, it wasn't, uh, that was still a very easy fix, but not quite so straightforward of uh, obviously damaged components. Yeah, no problem. That's looking better. Now, that slides in like so. Tip, leave your screws loose when you're assembling something like this. Don't tighten them in. Uh, just take them down until you're just about to come to snug and then that'll allow you to be able to move your case around and get the alignment right. If you run any screws in all the way, right away, you're almost guaranteed that it's gonna bind up and not allow you to even insert the last ones or a bunch of them, and then you kinda gotta go back and loosen a bunch. It's a real pain in the butt. And just like that, we are back together. Now we can go around, tighten up all these screws the rest of the way, and lock things down. Normally I would test it first before I did this, before I assembled it. Uh, to be honest, I didn't see the need in this case because I'm uh, pretty confident in our repair. But that's usually when Murphy strikes and proves you wrong. It's okay. Awesome. Check this out. Ooh, 
gold snazzy much much nicer than these plastic ones i could have changed this one out but uh, don't use it so awesome what we're up against let's see what we get oh we're alive awesome perfect good enough definitely close enough for what we're dealing with not the uh, most hyper accurate power supply reading but it's pretty close it's good enough for what i do with it uh, anytime i need to be hyper accurate i can verify it with the meter but we're good uh, we're good it's it's plenty close enough so right on